Oh, they're gone. <laughs> Well, I might as well say good morning, hadn't I? They've got a stick this morning. Reggie's playing chase with it, look. He won't let anybody have it off him. I've thrown it once. Off he goes. Well, that's a little bit of wind left. You can probably hear it <laughs> over me or vice versa. That's from <laughs> that's from uh, Storm Dudley, Dudley, Storm Dudley, that blew over last night. And there were a few trees down on the road on the way here, but nothing too serious. I think we just got the tail end whipping of it. But I'm expecting to see a few more down as we walk around. Oh, full chance I've got a stick off him then. He loves it. He loves being chased. So I'm inclined to think we just got back into the store. Maybe we we're in the. Maybe we're in the eye, the eye of the storm, if there's such a thing for a storm. But yeah, it's just come in and for a few moments the rain has lashed and the wind really has picked up. In fact at one point all the trees were really, really doing their own thing, dancing to their own tune I guess. So I might have to cut today's walk a little bit short. Oh, well, there's a bit of hail in there as well. That's changed on a sixpence, that has spun on a sixpence. No, I was just over-exaggerating. Oh, big wind. But well, we've got a bit of a gap. You can see the weather front moving away there that just hit me. We've got to walk back up that, that path there. Let's focus to infinity, please. Oh, well, there we go. We're walking up that path there. So we're going to cross the river in our usual place down the bottom. Now I'm here before the coffee man again. The toilets were actually open yesterday. So maybe I was a little bit later than normal. It's just about to tick over to 8 o'clock. Oh, dear. So after I've done this... We've got to uh, got to nip off to screw fix. That's a little bit weird, isn't it? There we go. Done. Yeah, nip off to screw fix into the brewery to carry on rewiring the new panel, and then we've got a tool station delivery coming today, and I'm going to have to make a decision about these PRDs coming from bloody China. I might just pop an old one in for the time being. Well, apart from a lot of branches on the floor, we didn't see any major trees down from the storm. This seems to be the only casualty. So we'll just stand it back up. I know it says closed. That's because the bridge is out, as I've shown you before but that doesn't matter to us. Hey, I wonder if the water's up today because we've had all that rainfall overnight. Doesn't look too bad. I don't think it's much worse than yesterday. We'll find out if we get overtopped on the boots, won't we? Oh my goodness. This is the deepest bit. A oh, little bit in the right foot there. But not all that bad. Lovely job. Right. The next clip you'll see will be me parked outside Screwfix. 
I lied. Couldn't help myself. It's bloody gorgeous, that is. Absolutely beautiful. Bit of sunlight on my back. Look how long the shadows are. <laughs> Makes Reggie look 10 foot, well, 20 foot tall. That's because of this. They really have gone, you know. Look at that. Where are they? <laughs> well, I'm a real fibber this morning, aren't I? I forgot to get the camera out at screw fix, but never mind, we're still going to see what we've got. New control panel, going to need some new labels. Finally got the contactor and I've got some new mole grips because the other ones I've got are pants and then these are all tie wraps. I was running out so I stocked up and then they had an offer on these, reduced to about seven quid. I was going to buy ten, but I decided five in the end. But now I'm thinking I should have got 10 because that would make a nice amount of storage for all the little bits that I have knocking about the brewery. Right then, let's get started. Oh my goodness, what have I let myself in for? Right, first things first, let's swap out this contactor for Una Proper 240 Volta contactor and that could be used somewhere else if I need it probably in place of something like this because even though it's 24 volts switching is it 24 I think it's 24 volt switching yep says it there it doesn't have to be 24 volt load it could switch a 12 volt load so I could change all of these out for contactors if I wanted to but I probably won't and here we have a 230 volt switching, says it just there. It kind of is getting a bit like that today, particularly after my cold shower. So I've um, <laughs> stood in front of the heater. I wanted to find a job where I didn't have to move from in front of it for a while. And using the brother P-Touch E110 label printer we managed to print off some what i think are quite snazzy looking labels for all of the switches and panel indicators i'll also be doing something for these as well so we can recognize what plug is what but i'll wire them up first just so i'm i know they're in the right place so apart from Connecting the mains up and installing a power cable to control the whole thing. I've just got this suicide lead in there at the minute. We're done. Yes, we are. We've got all this 12 volt shebang going on there. Bit of 24, not so much 24. The RCDs are wired up, the SSRs are wired up. We've got the relays for the pumps because obviously on the panel we're switching 12 volts. The 12 volt turns the relay on the relay then provides power to the pumps meaning that the majority of the panel what we're going to be interacting with at least is uh, low voltage and anything that's not is of course protected with residual current devices so i'm happy with that i've even installed because i didn't have a connector i've soldered it on a temperature probe for the water meter well I say the temperature probe a cable which runs out to here which would be a temperature probe but I've tried it on a K type thermocouple a PT100 and uh, some cheap PT100s that I got from eBay which I think were dud anyway so I've thrown them in the bin actually and the best I can do is making it show 55 degrees well I can tell you now it ain't 55 degrees in here I've had to have that bad boy on my back because it's six six degrees in here to die so I've been a little bit nippy and my fingers are somewhat rough but um, yeah I don't know but anyone know how to fix that thermocouple I don't know what to do with it 
so I just thought I'd give you a last look of on the cables um, I'm going to cover all this up tonight before I go home the thermocouple insulated shielded cables for the PIDs I've left a little bit extra on there for the simple reason that sometimes the shielding needs to be earthed I haven't earthed this but if I do have to I can re-terminate it and provide somewhere for me to get on the earth a little bit so if that isn't needed and these work straight out the box so to speak then I will just trim them flush and tie them up bits like this do look a little bit ragged but if I just have a look for the covers you'll see that once once we've got everything on like the cat the cover top things what they're called <laughs> what they're called the trunking casing oh there we go she's going on she's going on nicely then as you can see it don't look all that bad does it it don't look that bad at all just a few cable ties on these bad boys will neat them up and pin them down put some stickers on there um you know these things where where needed the sticky pads and then the same in here this will all be covered up and you won't see inside this trunking you'll just see the little bits coming out which i think it's actually a lot better because a the cables aren't all tied together in a bundle so there is a little bit of air circulation around them to help with cooling not that they're going to get hot i mean they're all overrated for the project anyway and we aren't running any considerable currents through anything apart from the three phase stuff and it's 2.5 mil handling 19 amps on three phase this is a walk in the park for 2.5 mil that is and then we've got um if I need to get in access and change a wire out, I don't have to clip a thousand zip ties. All right, and I will do on this section. I do have some spiral cable tidy somewhere. I have been using a little bit of this, just clipped and cut in half. See so if I can find a bit. There's a piece there. Just to kind of wrap around the cables as I'm putting it all together and it kind of does it works to hold them in place while I'm measuring them out for size and then uh, I just took that off and yeah cable tied all that lot up and that is designed so it, it folds it bends down and back like this and there's no stress on these sticky pads and when it's when the whole thing's closed it doesn't even know it's closed there's very little kind of deformation there still got to tighten up the um earthen terminals on there i'll remember to do that tomorrow when i take this fly lead earth off the suicide cable earth off so let's plug her in ready for the fireworks there we are so she's live so the alarm should work and we've already tested this on another video haven't we these won't work as of yet because the circuit's broken because it's not connected to the float switch on the boil kettle but I have short circuited it and I've seen the lights illuminate so they do work we've got the lights for the mash tun um, I have put mash lights that should be HLT lights you prat well HLT lights wherever uh, that works that comes out of one of these terminals on the front as well and then all the pumps I like these lamps from CPC they're a lot better look at that one that's an eBay one these are CPC way better or DigiKey do you sell them in Digi DigiKey and they I don't know but they, they were like one pound 19 or two pound 19 each and they're about the same price on ebay so 
very reasonable price. Alarm, there we go, set. Uh, water meter, ready to go. And the reason this isn't powered up or this, A, that'll power up when the three phase is connected, so that's that. And this is just a placeholder, it's a Rex C100. We don't measure mass yet, so there's no point wiring it up until we do, and if I do, I may want to put something a little bit more snazzy in, like an ink bird. But this is the best PID that we've got, a West 6100 Plus. They're quite expensive, I pinched it off a piece of machinery at the popcorn factory, but don't tell anybody. There we go. Anyway, that's panel done. Off. Oh, and I've also wiped the timer up as well. So I'm really over the moon with it, boys and girls. And apart from sticking in the output side for these, which are going to run down this bit of channel here, you can see this is looking rather sparse and empty. That's because that is mainly going to be carrying the outputs from the solid state relays to the three-phase sockets on the wall and then the elements will plug into those sockets and oh way she goes like that's it i'm gonna call it a day it's uh it's getting dark outside i've been out since the sun came up this morning as you well know and it is 4 55 so on that note, I think I'm going to call it a day. And tomorrow, Andy, yeah, I've dropped the cat out. I've let the cat out of the bag now, haven't I? Oh, it doesn't matter. The video will be up by then. Um, Andy from Four Priest Brewery is going to come over, provided he can drive over the Pennines with this storm on its way. Didn't think of that. Hopefully, he'll be fine. And, uh, yeah, we're going to do a little bit of a, maybe some filming tomorrow and have a bit of a chat about the brewery. We'll probably end up talking far too much and we'll not get much filming done. That's generally what happens when two people who are enthusiastic about brewing end up meeting here. And, uh, yeah, where was I going with that? I can't remember. So, well, yeah, mainly I was going to say that means I'll probably not get this on the wall tomorrow because I'll be busy doing that anyway. But uh, it is what it is. So stick around. See you on the next video, boys and girls. Thanks for watching. And, uh, yeah, oh, grab a beer or something. I don't know. Insert catchphrase here. I'm sorry. I had to get this. I'm just sat here, um, just having a look at some account stuff. Uh, need to record supplier refund. Learn how to handle and record supplier credits and refund by following these simple steps. Go on then, learn more. We couldn't find the answer you're looking for. <laughs> what the frig? Oh, don't you just love accounts?